what type of programming job do you want? So now that you've checked your motives, it's time to decide what type of programming job you want. Well, a better way of phrasing that would be, what type of industry would you prefer to start in? Or what type of technology would you prefer to start in? For some of you, it may not matter just as long as you're coding. But some of you may want to break into coding for a certain industry. You may want to go into the video game industry or the quantitative trading or enterprise software. You may want to be a mobile app developer or you may specifically want to build iOS or Android applications. Some of you know very specifically what you want to do. You may want to be a JavaScript front-end developer. You may want to be a DevOps or a data science engineer. This will have an impact on what type of jobs you apply to, what type of portfolio work you develop, and what skills you prepare to showcase. Your physical location may also be a factor. Of course, there are plenty of remote opportunities where you can work for a company in any place in the world from any place in the world. We'll talk about that later. But you may also have to consider what opportunities are available in your local area. If you live in or near a tech-heavy area like the Bay Area, California, Boston, Seattle, or Austin, Texas, or a major metropolitan area like New York City or Los Angeles, then you may have more options than if you live in a less tech-heavy region. But at the same time, that can also mean more competition. My advice would be to target local and remote opportunities, regardless of whether your intention is just to work remote or to work locally. I would even recommend applying to positions in areas not local to you. They may offer relocation packages. If they don't and you get hired, it may be worth relocating at your own expense. And even if relocation is not an option, I would, make, I would recommend you try to line up as many interviews as you can. Each interview is practice. Interviewing is a skill in itself that's improved by practice. You'll start to hear the same questions over and over again and get better at answering them. You'll start to get more relaxed and used to the pressure. You'll learn what type of skill sets empl employers are actually looking for in the industry you're looking in. Getting feedback from interviews and the application process is a very valuable way to improve as a professional developer. Each interview takes you closer and closer to the job you want. So here's what I would recommend. Create a new Google Doc and, stop cop and start copying and pasting every job posting you find that's interesting to you. Whether it's local, remote, in another city, state, or country, or whatever you feel quali or whether you feel qualified or not. The idea here is not just to find jobs to apply to, but to use these postings to find skills you want to improve on, acquire, or showcase. Then create another Google Doc and make a list of the skills, requirements, or certifications you keep seeing appear over and over again on the job you want. Now, you have a list of skills you need to polish, learn, and highlight. Now, another approach you may also wish to consider, especially if you don't have a computer science or technical degree, or a degree at all, and you are in a hurry to get a job, would be to look at any jobs that are entry level into a software or tech company. This may include searching with keywords like junior dev, testing, QA, help desk, or tech support. Sometimes, just getting in the door of a tech company or department where developers are in the same building is a big step because once hired, you can network and learn from working developers, and you may develop enough domain knowledge of the company's product process or customers that make you a viable candidate to eventually work for that same company as a developer. But still, make a list of the skills, requirements, and certifications you see that are requested in the job posting rank the list in order of the skills you see the most. The skills on this list will be what you assess yourself on later on in the course. 